Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here in the shop and I want to give you a first look at a bait that just launched at iCast. It's a lure that I helped design by Berkeley Power Bait and it's called a flute worm. It's called a flute worm. Um, it's a really, really special worm. You can rig it a lot of different ways. You could rig it a ton of different ways. And I want to go over this bait and show you some of my favorite rigging options for this lure. Um, first thing is, let me just show you some of the features of this, this cool bait. Uh, it comes in three sizes. This is the big one. But if you look at it, it's got a couple of unique things. It's got a sort of a bulbous end, like a flared out fat end that has a little sort of hole in the top, a little indent in the top. That's going to be important. I'm going to talk about that later. It's got these three strategically placed bump outs on it. And those high bump outs have a ridge in the middle. And that's going to be key. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And last but not least, it's got this a skinny tapered tail. But on that tail, it's only scooped out on one side. So it's a single sided taper. And it's going to give that thing a ton of action. Um, this bait was designed to be versatile from Texas rig to shaky head to drop shot to ned to wacky to weighted wacky and last but not least Nico rigging and Nico rigging is really what I had in mind when I designed this worm and I want to show you why some of these things on this worm make it better than a normal worm to Nico rig first thing is these high spots you notice there's these three strategically placed high spots. One's dead in the middle, one's three quarters of the way toward the head, and one's three quarters of the way toward the tail. And these high spots with that ridge in it, it's going to act as a place to anchor your O-ring when you're Nico rigging or wacky rigging. So, you know, I, I just use a regular wacky rig tool. This is a VMC wacky rig tool. I put my O-rings on there. And I buy my O-rings um, at a hardware store. Uh, and, and what I do is I get different sizes. So the different size O-rings will fit these three different size flute worms. Um, I've got here in this bag an eighth, five thirty-second, three sixteenths, seven sixteenths, a quarter, a five sixteenths. I carry a lot of different O-rings. I put the O-rings on the tool and I'll get it started. I'll get it started. <laughs> I'll get it started going down that tool and that o-ring gets just about to the end of that tool and now I'm going to stick it inside of my flute worm. For this demonstration let's go let's go wacky so I'm going to go dead in the middle and when I pull it out I want you to watch as I pull it over that high spot and it locks into that ridge. So that o-ring now is fixed in that ridge you know, a, a big problem with O-rings on a normal trick worm or soft stick bait lure is it wants to move around. Well, with the flute worm, it's going to lock it into place. It's hard to get it out of that ridge once it's in there. Um, next thing is, I told you about that fat end with that little enclaved little dent in it, almost like a little hole. Well, that's the perfect place to stick your weight. And for uh, weighted, weighted wacky or for Nico rigging, you're just going to get your standard nail, traditional nail, uh, 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 straight style nail. This is the VMC wacky half moon weight, which I love on a Nico rig or a wacky rig. And I'm going to insert it in that fat end. I'm going to go dead in the middle. Now I want you to watch this though, because that worm is bell shaped, it's fatter on the bottom as I stick it in. And because it's got a divot in it, it encapsulates that weight. Look at that. So it, it marries the weight. It actually seats into the worm. And on a traditional nail weight, even more so. But with that wacky half moon, and I'll put it right here on the, on the tabletop of the, of the workshop so you can hear it. Isn't that amazing? So now there's a fat spot there that lets it tick around and it's going to be ticking off the bottom. So this thing is locked in there. This thing is totally, totally locked in there. 
you know, next thing is, you know, get your hook, uh, whatever your favorite hook is for wacky rigging or Nico rigging. This one right here is one of my favorite. It's a uh, VMC uh, Nico hook. And this is the uh, non-weedless model. And I'm going to tie this thing on here. And I, I want you to get a look at it in the tank and watch the position of the, of the worm. And it's real important on this bait, especially with that weight in the tail. Let's get a little knot going here. I'm going to dip this thing in a tank and show it to you. OK. All right. So now we've got, we've got our worm, we've got our weight. And let's see, here's the one I had. Right now it's wig for, for, for wacky. But the neat thing about these little bump outs is I can change it on the fly. So I could fish it wacky for a while, but now I want to fish it Nico. I'm going to pull it over that high spot. I'm going to get down to the next high spot with that ridge and watch what happens. Boom. It seats right in that ridge. Okay. Now I'm going to rig it Nico style. I like to go, uh, from the head toward the tail and I'll go underneath of that o-ring. Now it's locked in there, it's secure. Now let's take a look at this in the tank and I want to give you a feeling for that fat end on the bottom with that weight in it and what that tail does. Okay, we're just going to dip it in the tank. I want you to watch this. Look at this. Look at the quiver of that bait. Okay, watch the quiver and the fall. You're going to notice that head because it's, it's enclaved, it's got a dent in it, it hides that weight, but that weight is bumping the gravel. It's making the silt come up. Now really now, focus in on that tail. I talked about the single taper of that tail. Look at all the amazing action of that tail. And it's because it's only scooped out on one side, it gives it constant momentum. And that's exactly what a Nico rig should do. I can change it up once again. I can go to wacky or I could go reverse Nico and go up to the one closest to the tail. Same hook, same bait. I've just changed my overing position and I'm going to totally change the action in the tank. Now watch this one. Reverse Nico style, little bit different action, a little bit quicker fall shorter tail movements, but it's got that same great bumping motion on the bottom. Look at the gravel kicking up as that weight taps on the bottom. Pretty, pretty special worm. Um, it's the Flute Worm by Berkeley. Again, so many rigging options. Uh, traditional Texas style, wacky jig head. Um, the small one rigged on a drop shot. The small one rigged on a Ned head. Let me show you this real quick, the options. The other great thing about these little bump outs is I can use these to measure the bait. So a lot of times when I'm Ned rigging, I want something small. I'm going to break it right in where that bump out's at. So I'll twist it off. I've got a measure or a mark. And I'll rig it Ned head style. Let's thread up to my regular Ned. And now I've got this tricked out little Ned bait with that same crazy little taper in the tail. Um, I want you to definitely check this out, man. Uh, it's the Flute Worm by Berkeley Power Bait. So many rigging options. Shaky Head, uh, Drop Shot, Nico, Wacky, uh, Texas, Ned. So many different options. Three sizes, three different sizes. Uh, this is really going to become one of your most versatile baits in your arsenal. Give it a try. Lots of ways to rig it. It's the Flute Worm by Berkeley Power Bait out here in the shop.